Hello, this is Kurt Young, Senior Technical Marketing Engineer at Kemp, and today I'd like to cover and demonstrate Dell EMC Elastic Cloud Storage with Kemp Loadmaster. Before I jump into a demo, let's first highlight the benefits of this joint solution. Those who are familiar with Dell EMC ECS understand the need and value for such storage. With the ever-increasing amount of data being generated with big data analytics and IoT or next-gen applications, object storage has become a must-have for federal, enterprise, and hosting providers alike. To ensure customers are getting the most value from this infrastructure investment, the Kemp Loadmaster has been interoperability tested to deliver infinite scale, availability, and efficiency customers expect from such a solution. Whether customers are looking for high availability for a single cluster or global balancing across multiple clusters in different sites, Kemp Loadmaster ensures access to storage is always available and with the best possible performance. In this demo, I've configured Dell EMC ECS Community Edition within my Hyper-V environment. Here I've deployed only two nodes for purposes of the demo, and I have a Kemp Loadmaster deployed with a two-arm configuration. Kemp provides customers with application templates to streamline the configuration of virtual services for supported workloads. In this demonstration, I will import the application template and set up a few virtual services for different resources provided by ECS. Since all environments are unique in their own way, I'll highlight and discuss the different methods of publishing these resources. I'll be using the single namespace of ecs.kempdemo.com for accessing the storage. The first step is to download the application template from the Kemp website. So under Resources and Loadmaster Documentation, you'll find all the installation and deployment guides, including the one for Dell EMC ECS. Over here we have the Kemp application templates. I've already downloaded the template, so we can move right into the Loadmaster web user interface. To import the template, just click Manage Templates, choose the template file, and then click Add New Template. As you can see, this creates 10 different virtual service templates to be used for ECS. But before we add any new virtual services, I just want to point out that I've already created and imported an SSL TLS certificate to be used for some of the virtual services. So I won't detail the steps on the certificate creation and import in this demo, but Kemp has plenty of documentation around this process. At this point, I don't have any virtual services configured on this Loadmaster. The first virtual service I want to create will be for the ECS web interface. So I'll just click Add New, enter a virtual IP address, select the ECS web interface from the available templates, and click Add Virtual Service. This template actually creates two virtual services. The first virtual service is just a redirect to send all HTTP traffic over HTTPS using port 443. So nothing we need to do with that one. I just need to modify the HTTPS virtual service. As I mentioned before, the application template sets most of the configuration based on best practice. So in this case, we just need to assign a certificate and then go down to real servers to add our two ECS nodes. Since I only have two nodes in my lab, these steps can be accomplished rather quickly. In production environments, where there are many more nodes, these steps can be scripted using the Kemp Loadmaster API or one of the API wrappers, such as PowerShell. And the ECS web interface virtual service is created. And now we just need to wait out the 10 seconds for the revalidation to occur. Now that everything's healthy, I'll just open up a new browser to access the web interface. I'm using the single namespace of ecs.kempdemo.com. I'll log in using the admin one account, and we can see our storage and health of our ECS nodes. Jumping back to the Loadmaster, I'll set up some S3 access into ECS. I'll do SSL law floating for this virtual service where the Loadmaster will terminate the TLS connection and send the traffic back unencrypted, which will eliminate any TLS processing on the ECS nodes. I'll keep the default port of 9021, but this can be changed depending on the environment. 
Once again, I just need to set the TLS certificate to use, and we can see there's no re-encryption happening here. Clicking into real servers, we can see the health check port is port 9020, which is the default unencrypted port for S3. Now we just need to add our two nodes, being certain that I'm setting the traffic back on port 9020. Now we'll just view the health of the new S3 virtual service. Everything looks healthy, so let's test it out. I've downloaded the S3 browser in order to test out the connection and functionality of ECS. So let's bring that up. I'll go into Accounts, Manage Accounts. And I have one created already called Kemp. As you can see, I'm using S3 compatible storage. I have my endpoint, ecs.kempdemo.com over port 9021. I have my access ID and my access key. To obtain the access ID and secret key, I just need to open the ECS web interface, navigate to users, and edit the object admin one user and click show secret key. I'll just confirm the use secure transfer TLS and save changes. I'm now connected and now I can create a new bucket to store some images in. I'll call this new bucket pictures. And now I'll just grab some images and drag them into the bucket. Now there are many different options for publishing these ECS services other than TLS offloading. Some customer environments may require a TLS connection end-to-end, -end, which can be done at layer 7 or layer 4 pass-through. And there are also some that may not require TLS at all. Hopefully this demonstration highlighted the benefits of using Kemp Loadmaster with Dell EMC ECS and the ease of configuration using application templates. For more information, please visit us at kemptechnologies.com. Thanks for watching.